So always remember, it's your thing. And the beauty of it is coming together with other musicians and playing. First of all, we're not allowed to use sticks. That's the first thing. You can't, you can't use sticks.
it's not about this. This is not what's incredible. You know, when, when I see somebody who can really twirl, what really impresses me is the stuff that they can do while they're doing this underneath me. You know, so I'm playing. <laughs> thing I really enjoy is your tuning. I, my question was how do you tune and what's your approach to your tuning? And I still want to know to today because I, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> a, a lot of it depends on the music that we play. Okay. A lot of it depends on what you know what sound is appropriate for that gig. Generally speaking, my bottom heads are tighter than my top heads. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's because it holds the tone in the drum. It gives a little bit of a pitch bend on the top, so, because physically the way it works is you hit, you hit the drum, and you hear the, you actually hear the tone of the bottom head first and the top head last, because it's because that especially if it's high to low, it's going to be bound. So it's good to have knowledge, man. I appreciate that. It's fun to be in class in here. Well, no, I didn't mean to intrude anything. Hey, how are y'all doing? But I, I hear, you know, between when you first sat down to that, it's, it's an improvement in, in the overall feel and sound. But there's you know, a long way you could go to developing a nicer sound out of the cymbal, a nicer sound out of the bass drum, a nicer sound out of the snare drum. And the kind of feedback that I'm giving you is very technical. Oh, that's what you need. As opposed to a producer saying, I don't know man, it just doesn't quite feel right. Just blew me away. Definitely coming back.